up a sign of one of the city's most high-profile families is in the eye of a club class storm. Nasreen Sattar, daughter of Haji Abdul Sattar Seth, who pioneered the city's first mall, Safina Plaza, near Commercial Street in the mid-80s, has been suspended from Bowring Institute on charges of misbehavior in its premises. The alleged incident and its aftermath have been the talking point among the club's most chic members since it broke out on the 29th of May. The allegation of high-handedness by Nasreen has been levelled by the manager and staff of the departmental store in the club premises. Meanwhile, Nasreen has defended her actions, saying she was provoked and has made a counter-complaint to the Kaban Park police station. <laughs> Whatever it is, she has no business to talk indecently and misbehave like that. There is a way to talk. I asked her for the shampoo, she said she has kept it aside. Now she is saying it is not there. So she can tell her properly, ask her not to raise her voice. I have told her that I want to exchange these three ideas. Fine, so whatever you can do, do or don't do. Let her not talk badly to me. Do it, madam. You want me to do it? Do I'll it. do it and show sure. you. It, it. You insult a member. You in, you're still not. You're still being arrogant. I will personally take you to jail and put you here arrogant with a woman. You special police officer. Don't fuck with me. All right? Yeah. Don't fuck with me. You stop decency. We are, you get it or we, don't get we it? Are, we are very decently talking to you. you I, will not, you, I will drag you. I will drag you by your shirt and you are in my club. I am not in your club. Please, it is it is a public club or whatever. So it's not it it's not your club. It's not your club, no. Ah, it is not. It's your not club, your but, club. Ah. You're not a member, no. You ah. then don't treat a member. You're not a member, no. I am not. Then a don't member. then you don't a treat member. a member. Don't treat a member wrong. I'll break. We are not going to do anything wrong. You are doing all wrong things, madam. <laughs> I am doing wrong things. Yeah. I am doing wrong. You are not following the rules. No, you are not following the rules. No. You just. Let the committee tell that. Why are you telling that I'm doing it wrong? Inside my store, na, you are not doing the wrong things. In your the store, club, that's your ah. store. You, you own that store, isn't yes. it? I will break your face in that store and show you. Okay, madam. I will break your face in that show, that's store and show you, and okay. I want to see what you can do to me after that, because okay. you don't know who I am. Also, okay. you have no idea what I can do to get you into a problem. You have no idea how much money I can spend, what I can do. Madam, so we'll you, take each other on. You take you your money, I take my money, and I put you, you in jail. But I'll put you if in jail. I have any mistake, I, if I have done any mistake, yes, I apologize to you. You but better be, because you don't know who I am, you don't know what I'm worth, you don't know what I can do to you, so don't take me on, because even if you go to the president and lodge the complaint, I want to see who will take the action against me. 
I want to see what I have done wrong by being a member and a dedicated user of your store by asking for some exchange. Why the people Madam, in your store out and scream at me? No, because the other things, other, other, but other things are not your store. Sir, I am telling you, you are getting the uh, boring class, Bangalore club items, everything, and mixing up and giving to us. But Several anyway, times we have told my. I will break your face in your shop if you misbehave with me another time. That's for sure. I will just break it, and then I will spend crores of rupees to pay the face the consequences Why after that. I promise. Small, see, we are a small I guy. promise because you want to behave, so behave small. small. Want, uh, behave, behave small. When you are a small, behave small. Behave yes. big. See, but I tell you, ma'am, I tell you, we are so cool. Mr. Shut up. No, shut up. No, 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 no. Shut up. Shut up. Big Listen, people ma'am. should behave big, and small people should behave small. So shut the. And behave small and treat your customers properly. Sorry. Otherwise, I will take your face and I will get yeah. away with it. See, okay? actually, see, the material was not there. What he was asking was not okay. there. I, I don't mind. There. You, I don't mind. Don't talk to me rudely. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, Tell your staff and you don't talk to me rudely. Madam. You don't exchange. I don't mind. Don't talk to me rudely. Correct. Yes. See, see. Now today you talk to me rudely. I'll hit you. After hitting you, I'll take you to police station. Then I'll hit you inside the police station. Then I'll send you to jail after that. That is a promise from Nasreen Satar. Say, take down my full name, account number, address, office address, and you can. After that, we can work it out. After that, don't ever talk to me rudely. Other than that, do whatever you want. You want to charge me extra charge. You want to not exchange, don't exchange. But don't talk to your customer rudely, and okay, don't ma'am. talk to a member rudely. Okay, ma'am. From next time, members should the not be talking. Members should not be talking. You don't teach me you don't what. You don't teach me what I do. You don't teach me what I do. You don't teach me what I do. You don't talk to me rudely. Finish. Ma'am, I'm coolly talking. Well, in fact, that was uh, some high-octane conversation that took place between uh, Nasreen Sattar as well as the manager of the departmental store inside uh, the Bowring Institute. Um, the, let's quickly take a look at the CCTV footage, uh, which shows uh, the way in which uh, she behaved with the staff of the store. Those were some shocking scenes that were witnessed, and uh, the woman in question is Nasreen Sattar. She's the daughter of Haji Abdul Sattar Seth, who pioneered uh, the city's first mall, which is Safina Plaza, in the mid 80s. The alleged incident and its aftermath have been, uh, well, definitely the talking point of uh, this particular she club, the Bowring Club, uh, which has now dismissed its club member Nasreen for the misbehaviour. With their staff members, my colleague Akshita joins us with all the latest details. Well, Akshita, absolute shocking scenes that can be witnessed there. The way she is abusing them and uh, ill-treating them, we can say. 
Absolutely, uh, Nishita. In fact, high-handedness of sorts is uh, what we're witnessing there. Nasreen losing her cool and then going on to abuse uh, the staff members, the managers. In fact, while she's in that store, you can see her going ahead and hurling abuses at them. After that, we also played her that four conversation for you. You could clearly see uh, that she was abusing, hurling abuses non-stop by the manager while he was trying to calm her down, stating that you know she should not have used those kind of words. Uh, but to take you through exactly what is happening in that CCTV footage there, it is understood. Uh, that initially Nasreen had sent her maid uh, to uh, that particular uh, supermarket which is of course the Nilgiri's market in uh, the Bowering Institute. Uh, she sent her maid there to return certain uh, products. Now it is understood that about three products is what she wanted to exchange. Uh, the maid went with those products but the staff refused to take it and saying uh, that it was used and it wasn't from their store as such. For about half an hour in fact this was played out where the maid was present trying to talk it out with the staff. The staff said it's absolutely impossible for them to take it back. Now, soon after, it seems like the maid went and told Nasreen that Nasreen herself comes down to uh, the store. In fact, uh, she's seen there, she's seen clearly uh, having a very quick fire temper. She reaches down there uh, and immediately gives those three products. Uh, now, we understand that the cashier who was present there, uh, she started reasoning with her, saying that it was absolutely impossible for them to take it back, uh, which at which point Nasreen seems to be losing her cool and uh, starting to tell the woman, the cashier, that she shouldn't raise her voice. In fact, the cashier seen trying uh, to uh, talk to her, trying to reach a compromise of sorts, telling her that it's absolutely Absolutely impossible, but Nasreen more than anything else, Nishita has seen sh shouting at her, uh, stating, uh, "Know your manners, know how to treat a customer. I am a woman, I know my rights and the likes." Soon after, the manager comes in, and now he is the one, in fact, who he ha she had the phone conversation with as well. The manager Karthikeyan comes in there, tries to calm things down, uh, even tells the cashier, "Look, forget it. I will take care of this. Uh, let it go." And soon after, he's seen talking to Nasreen. She calms down relatively. Then uh, she starts asking for some sort of a shampoo that uh, she wants. Uh, the store manager tells her that that's not in stock, but as soon as it comes in, we will give it to you. He also starts looking into the products. He points on one of them and says, we cannot take this in. Now, Sreen immediately snaps, saying, I don't care if you can take it and I don't mind paying extra money. Don't treat me the way you are. Uh, and at that point, she walks away, goes to one of the products once again, which is the shampoo that she uh, reportedly wanted. And she calls the manager there and tells him, I want the shampoo. He tells her there is no stock, to which uh, she replies, I don't don't care how you do it. I want it right now. Go to some other store and get it for me. At this point, the manager is also seen slightly losing his cool. He tells her, ma'am, we do not have stock. There's nothing much we can do about it. He walks away and stands right next to the cashier. And this is when all the galata, all hell breaks loose, uh, Nishita. Nasreen comes out there, starts screaming at him, telling him that I am a member. You are not. You're supposed to treat me like a customer. You're supposed to treat me as a, a woman. Give me that respect. Uh, the store manager, Karthikeyan, is seen taking a step back. He's even going ahead and stating that there's nothing I can do. I cannot take this back. You have a lot of credit in uh, this store. And that's where Nasreen starts walking out. She starts uh, trying to persuade the manager to come along with her uh, to, in fact, go to the office, the club office, where she can go ahead and file a complaint against him is what she states. At that point, Karthikeyan refuses to step out. He states, I will stay here because this is my store. You can do what you want. And that's when all the threats also start coming out. Nasreen starts threatening that she will shut down the store, uh, that she will break his face and then she will see uh, what he can do about it and the like. So that's what pretty much plays out in that entire CCTV footage. She's also seen making a phone call and asking someone if she should directly talk to Shrikant. Shrikant, of course, is the secretary of uh, uh, the Bowering Institute uh, and uh, soon after, of course, uh, she is seen calling him up uh, as well. Karthikeyan too is seen getting a call. He's explaining exactly what took place. Now, we understand that soon after she left is when the store manager also gave her a call and then that entire phone conversation played out when Nasreen is seen hurling abuses, threatening him, threatening to even kill the staff. Uh, Nishita, she goes on to quite clearly state, I will kill every single person there. Yes, I have hurled abuses because Karthikeyan points out that if she could just talk normally, if she could not use such language, uh, which is when uh, uh, Nasreen says, I will say what I want. Yes, I hurled abuses, but did I kill anyone? I will kill someone and then let's see what you can do. She goes on to state that uh, people who are small should 
uh, should act small and should not try to be big and she starts hurling abuses constantly at uh, Karthikeyan. At this point, the phone conversation pretty much comes to an end and that is when we see Karthikeyan actually going ahead and filing a complaint with the secretary and several other top members of the Bowring Institute. Now, what we understand is that Nazreen has of now uh, been suspended from uh, the membership. Her membership has been suspended temporarily is uh, what we understand because uh, the secretary clearly in his statement has stated uh, that for absolutely no reason, no provocation on the part of uh, 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 the staff members, Nazreen is seen shouting, hurling abuses, even threatening uh, to kill the people. So uh, the Bowring Institute are trying to wash its hands off the incident, making it very clear that uh, uh, strict action will be taken despite her being a high-profile uh, 